Welcome to MT's Corner with Maisha Sierra, where we discuss celebrity news, acting advice, and everything in between that has to do with acting. So sit back and enjoy yourself and enjoy my opinion. I like doing life of stories on those in the entertainment industry that I personally liked. A lot of them had a huge impact on my childhood. Unfortunately, some life ofs on my YouTube channel have been taking precedent over others. If you look back on my previous life of video so far, I have Miss Ashley Minnie Ross who passed away. And today I come to you again with another entertainer who has also passed away. I don't plan on only doing life ofs with people who've passed away, but there is a lot of research involved with finding out the lives of these people. So this is a process and I do plan to do life ofs on people who are still alive as well. Unfortunately, today I'm coming to you with the life of Gregory Tyree Boyce. Now, if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, maybe if you saw him, you'd know where he was from. For those of us that are into young adult novels and young adult movies and television, you'll easily recognize him as one of the characters in the Twilight franchise. Let's get into the life of a young man whose light dimmed too soon. Gregory Tyree Boyce, was born on December 5th, 1989 in California. Very little is known about his private life, so I'll let you know all the things that I do know leading up to his unfortunate passing. I personally think actors and entertainers who are very secretive about their lives have every right to do so. The public demands so much of them already, I see no reason why they should have to share more of themselves than they would like to. Gregory loved to act, and he seemed to have had a great relationship with both of his parents, and a great relationship with his family. He received his first big break in the Twilight franchise, the first film, Twilight, in 2008. He played Tyler Crawley, who was a jock at Forks High School. He was one of Bella's friends, and he also almost hit her in a car crash, and he also kissed her on her cheek in a scene, and he was the DJ for their prom. Tyler is a, a man, a young man, a jokester, a, a character, likes to class clown. He basically has a crush on Bella. It's like, kind of like a secret admirer, you know what I mean? Things of that nature. Gregory seemed to get along well with his other castmates. He was very joyous and playful, and everyone seemed to like him. I'm just trying to grade. send her mixed signals. That's my approach, you know, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but she has to catch <laughs> this. What, 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 is, what is this? That's the stud move. Yeah, you know? Although Twilight was his breakout role, we haven't seen Gregory on the screen or TV much after that. His only other film credit that can be found on IMDb, which is the internet movie database, was in the writer and director's Trevor Jackson's 2018 short film Apocalypse for his music video. In between his first film breakout role and into 2018, Gregory had a daughter who was now 10 years old. He loved his daughter dearly and tried his best to be in her life as often as he could be. Eventually, Gregory moved to Las Vegas so that he could help take care of his mother, but he would commute between Las Vegas and Los Angeles for acting roles and to be able to be present in his daughter's life and see other family members. Now, Gregory didn't post on his social media often, but lately, before his passing, his social media was posted on a little more often than he normally does. His last post was three days before he and his girlfriend, Natalie Adapuju, were found deceased in their home in Vegas. A few posts before that, he did have about Nipsey Hussle and Kobe Bryant, both who've also passed recently in the past year or so for Nipsey and earlier this year for Kobe. Now, I don't know if this is foreshadowing, but a post that Gregory made under one of his photos of Nipsey is that so much can change in a year. And unfortunately, he did not know how correct he was about that statement. Boyce and his girlfriend, Natalie, were found dead in their Las Vegas condominium on May 13th, 2020, and he was 30 years old, and Natalie, I believe, was 27. However, there are some conflicting statements. Some say that she's 27, and some say that she's 28. This news was reported by the Metropolitan Police Department spokesman, Larry Hadfield. It is said that Ledbetter, who is a cousin of Gregory, as posted in a news statement, and he was also their roommate. He noticed that their car was still parked outside after his night shift when he woke back up the next day. He knocked on their door because he found it a little odd that they were still parked there, but he didn't see them. When he didn't receive a response, he broke down a door to find Natalie and Gregory both deceased in their bedroom. Few details were given for their passing. However, it is stated that it was not criminal. 
Witnesses do say that he was known to use harder drugs. Now, I won't tell you what those harder drugs are because I just believe in leaving some level of decorum to people's legacies. So if you'd like to know what they were, you can always Google or find someone else's video who can tell you what substances it was. There were conflicting reports on his usage of those drugs, so I didn't want to report that and put that on his name if it was in fact not true. However, if it is true, it is very sad and unfortunate because there are a lot of entertainers who unfortunately succumb to substance abuse. As a fellow entertainer, I really encourage all of you out there that are in the entertainment industry to please, please take care of yourselves. Please go to therapy please figure out whatever it is that's going on in your life that you feel that certain drugs you have to take in order to escape especially if it comes down to an excessive use an autopsy has not yet confirmed the cause of death it will take six to eight weeks to find out exactly what happened to them if an autopsy is performed allegedly there was also a white substance that was found next to their bedside after finding out about his death his mother did pay tribute to him she spoke about his virgining restaurant business called west wings named his wing flavors after west coast rappers she also spoke about how much she would miss him now that he was gone and her grief honestly seemed very very heavy so if you all can keep her in your prayers I'm sure that would be much appreciated her and his family and Natalie's family as well she said the last time that she spoke to Gregory was on Mother's Day when she came over to his house to eat and hang out his other family members have given this statement to the press we as a family of Gregory Boyce are very saddened by our loss he was a dad son grandson brother uncle and friend he was the life of all our lives and we are very saddened by the, his death. The Gregory we know was intimate with the world and a good person. He was a very respectful and responsible man. He always put others first. The family would like to ask for their privacy at this time as they mourn their loss and they thank everyone for their well wishes. There has also been a GoFundMe put up for Natalie, his girlfriend, so they can be able to bury her. I'll have that link in my description below so that you can donate if you feel so inclined. I'm personally saddened by his loss because he was so young and he was a part of my childhood. I remember him from Twilight. There weren't many black people in that film, and to see a face that looked similar to mine, I was proud. I personally am praying for his family. I especially give regards to Gregory's daughter and Natalie's child. She was also had a child as well, and I'm sure those children are going to have a hard time moving on now that their parents are gone, but I am praying and hoping that they have very strong circles around them that will help them to flourish into very amazing and hopefully creative young people. I tell y'all, nobody knows how long we have left on this earth and nobody knows that the day you wake up may be your last so please be careful live your life to the fullest although we are still on lockdown and quarantine in some areas please be safe if you do decide to go out and know that you all are in my prayers